I'm about to shoot this ballistic gel with some Remington core locked 30 out six. But I'm gonna shoot through this wood panel first. That right there is a bullet I dug out of a deer. Um, it was a 30 out six, 150 grain core locked. I got about 18 to 19 inches of penetration and 100 grains of mass retention. So that did that bullet did hit one of the rib bones. So what I'm curious to see is if this piece of wood in any way would come kind of simulate what a bone does to the bullet. So the plan is to shoot that bullet through the wood, measure my mass retention, and see how much penetration I can get in the ballistic gel. This block I did just get through shooting it with the 223, so it does have a couple of other wound channels in it, I guess you would say, or bullet channels. The gun I'm shooting is a Thompson Center Venture 2 with a 24 inch barrel. I did not expect that ballistic gel to fly off of there like that. Man, that 30 6 has a lot of energy. This is the piece of wood that I had in front of the ballistic gel, and it's about five yards in front of it. It just shattered that board that that ballistic gel was sitting on. So that strap was not gonna hold because the board under it just shattered. So that stretch cavity right there, it does remind me of what the muscle, and the muscle would have been in front of the rib bone, but the muscle on the shoulder of that deer looked like it just had a huge area of damage on it. And looks like I got about 17 and a half inches of penetration. The bullet stopped at 17 inches, but you can see that little mark right there. A lot of times the bullet will go into the ballistic gel and then kind of bounce back, I believe. So it's somewhat close to the 18 to 19 that I got on the deer. This block of gel is gonna be shot all the pieces, but I think I'm gonna turn it around, shoot it from this side without the block of wood in front of it. So once again, I shattered the board the ballistic gel was sitting on. So this is what that cavity wound channel looks like. I got just a little, about 18 and a half inches of penetration. So just a hair more penetration. That piece of wood, I don't really think changed things just a whole lot. That stretch cavity still looks real impressive without the wood in front of it. Just a little bit more penetration. You can see lots of pieces of lead and stuff right there. So that bullet did fragment quite a bit. So on this side, that's the, the one that's past that bullet. That's where I shot it with the board in front. This one is where I shot it without the board in front. And you can see where that bullet went into the ballistic gel after going through the wood. It's a little bit wider. But again, I think those results are very similar. And based on that, I don't even know. You know, I thought about testing more bullets shooting through the wood first. But I don't even know if that's necessary. Now when I take this block inside, I'll cut those bullets out and compare the mass retention. This right here is my final results. This first one over here is the one I dug out of the deer. Again, I shot it about 30 yards, had about 18 to 19 inches of penetration and 100 grain weight retention. This is the one that went through the wood, 30 yards. I had 17 and a half inches of penetration and about 108 grains of weight retention. 
And this is the one that I shot just straight into the ballistic gel. Weight retention was pretty much the same. Got about one more inch penetration. But really shooting just into the deer and then straight into the ballistic gel. I think those are close enough together in my mind to just shoot straight into the ballistic gel. I don't think putting the wood in front of the ballistic gel is necessary for those tests. And I am kind of surprised at how closely the ballistic gel mimicked the deer because I would really thought those ribs, there was actually a couple ribs broken on the side of the deer. I would have thought that would have made a bigger difference on what it did to the bullet. Now that bullet does look a little more tore up on that one. Um, you can see that kind of that corner up there is tore off, but like I say, I weighed it at 100 grains and this one at 108 grains.